In SAP HANA system, you can replicate tables on multiple hosts. When you need to join the tables or partition of tables on multiple hosts, table replication is useful to improve the performance and to reduce the load on network in distributed environment. But keep in mind that replication cannot be done on partition tables. Second, SAP Business Warehouse on HANA does not support table replication. And third, replicated tables consume main memory when they are loaded since each replica has its own independent persistence. Therefore, an increased amount of main memory is needed. This needs to be considered for sizing. So, let us now move to SAP HANA system and see how to replicate a table. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the table replication in SAP HANA in multi-tenant environment. So, in SAP HANA system, it is also possible to replicate the tables on multiple hosts. So, when we need to join the tables or partition the table on multiple hosts, the table replication is useful to improve the performance to reduce the load on the network in the distributed environment. So, SAP HANA table replication has certain limitations which is that you cannot replicate the partition tables when you are using the SAP BW on HANA, it doesn't support the table replication. When you perform the table replication, it consumes the main memory and disk space to store the persistence of each replica. After that, the column store tables with the history tables and the text columns without a primary key can't be replicated. So let's see how we can create a column store table with replica on all the host in multiple container system. So for this we have a SQL statement which will replicate the which will basically create the column store table with the replica on all the host in the multiple container system. So I have copied this command here. So I'll just copy it and after that we have to run this command in the SQL editor. So let's open the SQL console from here and we'll copy this command. So basically what this command is doing is that it is creating the column table actuals and after that uh, what it is doing is that it is creating the column table and with the replica on each host. So here we have to uh, give the schema name and the table name which we want to create. So here let's say if I rename this table because this table already exists and if we execute this statement. So we can see that this statement is executed. After that if we will go here and if we will check this test schema. So if we open up this test schema here. So under the tables we will be able to see this actual 6 table. So we can see that this actual 6 column store table is created with the replica on every host. So this is how we can create the table with the replica on all the host. It is also possible to drop the replica of an existing table using the alter table drop replica command. So what is the command for that is alter table We'll copy this command and we'll go to our SQL console. So what we are doing in this command is that we are altering this table and we are dropping the replica at all the different locations. So here we have to note that we can perform the table replication on the row store tables and in a distributed environment we can perform the table replications on the row store tables stored in the master node. In SAP HANA system, we can also perform the consistency check on the replicated tables using the SQL command which is, if we go here, so this is my command using which we can do the consistency check. So, let's copy this command and let's copy it here in the SQL console. So, what we are doing here is we, can, we are calling the check table consistency. After that, we have to pass the parameter check replication. Then we have to give the schema and the table name for which we want to perform the consistency check. So in this tutorial we have seen how we can do the replication of a table 
in multiple host environment how we can drop that replica and how we can do the consistency check in the uh, in the environment for the that particular table so thank you